I just kind of talked to her and asked her, like, can you please do this? morning people Anna here we are headed to my doctor well a doctor a new doctor a new infectious disease specialist to see if we can figure out what's going on with this seemingly continuous or this for sure continuous infection in my J tube my feeding tube and so far After my appointment this morning it went really well um, both mom and I really liked the doctor she was more thorough than my previous infectious disease specialist um, let me just give you the briefest rundown as possible on my J-tube and its infection I had my first infection at the beginning of October last year, so it's been about 11 months. And I had three concurring infections that every two to three months that um, were treatable. We treated them with early antibiotics and I got better. And then for the next couple, three months, I was fine. And we, we would culture them and keep track of the bacteria that was there and then I started getting so sick in June, the end of May and into June and it was, it was bad. Um, I was so weak, I couldn't even, it was I felt as sick as I was when I'm in Lyme treatment, which is very sick. I promise you I will tell you more about that. But for now, let's focus on the J-tube infection because that's actually what's currently happening. It was very sick. It was like exceedingly hard to walk. I was falling. Um, I was so dizzy, I was so fatigued, I was sleeping all the time. Anyway, I was a mess. I was having fevers, I was a mess. And we could tell based on also some other symptoms that you probably don't really want to know about. We went to my GI doctor like we usually do. They did a culture, cultures came back, positive of course, but it came back as pseudomonas this time. And they sent me to an infectious disease specialist because they're like, this isn't, this isn't, we don't mess around with this bacteria. And so because I have this wonderful magical thing in my chest called a power pick, it's not a port, it's a power pick. Um, I was able to do home IV antibiotics and I did that for a week. And then I had about two and a half weeks where I felt fine. And then I started having symptoms again. And then we treated with another week of the same antibiotic but double dose in the middle of August. Because it, we cultured it again and it cultured the same pseudomonas. And some other people will have really bad, like a lot of pussing and redness and horribleness. I get a lot of pain like deep inside me. So it'll be like, just horrible cramping pain and it'll wrap around to my back and like my whole abdomen but mostly focused on this side like I can't even like you know when you drive over the road and there's a little bump it's like it it wasn't it got a, it got better after that course of antibiotics in August but it has not gone away so we saw this second infectious disease specialist for a second opinion 
and after consulting with my doctor at the Cleveland Clinic, my GI here, and then between the two ID doctors, we've essentially just come up with this plan. Also, Anna Roper and Mom Roper have come up with this plan that we think there is very well could be bacteria actually in the tube itself. So not just in the, the tissues or whatever around there, but actually inside of the, whatever it's made out of, inside of that material. So the plan is that I will be getting called back from my surgeon's office tomorrow after my surgery is in the office and my nurse talks to him and we will see what it's going to require in order to get an order to have it swapped out with interventional radiology. That shouldn't be a big problem. I just, not having to go to the office would be nice, not having to have a visit with him because it's truly unnecessary. And then as soon as I have that and have my procedure scheduled, I will call my ID doctor and let her know that when it is scheduled for and she is going to set up the home infusion for my antibiotics. So I'm not sure how much she's going to give me or whatever, but as long as I have it bridging the gap between before I have the procedure and then after I have the procedure, and then I have a new tube with no bacteria in it, this is the highest chance we have, this is the best chance we have of getting this bacteria out of me. Or very low to where it's just squashed and it's doing ridiculously there. <sighs> Meanwhile, she has this thing where you're supposed to put um, like bleach mix bleach with water and then put a cotton ball on like around the site and then that can help kill the pseudomonas I'm really not sure that sounds like it was sting and so I'm kind of just going to wait a little while before I start that also I think she was just kind of kind of end there because she didn't want to everyone always is like because you're so young because you you know you're, you're still young and I'm like yes I understand thank you for not wanting to put me through more procedures or more whatever but I don't care like if I'm asking for something I, like at this point I mean I've been through so much not that I want to go through a whole ton more but seriously I've had my tube swapped out three other times and I've had it way worse where my balloon has burst, surgeons have poked into me when my hole is closed, all kinds of nonsense. And I've had IR do it for me before and it's been awesome. They're the ones who did it last time. My tube has stayed in since December, the longest it's ever stayed in. So I'm totally fine. It's not even, they didn't give me any sedation at all. I didn't need any, like it was totally fine. She was very hesitant to give me systemic antibiotics, is what she called them, like IVs, I guess. But we basically, I just kind of talked to her and asked her, like, can you please do this? And she agreed. So that's the plan. That's what's been going on over here in my stomach. No, in my tube that goes into my intestines, there's a lot that goes on in Anna's like abdomen area. Why? But there you have it, folks. So exciting and so riveting. I'm sure it just keeps you on the edge of your seat this whole time. Like, what is she gonna say next? I can guess it's gonna be something about antibiotics or an infection or something. Yeah, I'm gonna go. It's time for me to say goodnight to all you peoples. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so, so very much. Please subscribe if you haven't already because I also appreciate that so, so, so very much. And once again, good night, goodbye, 
and I will see you super soon. Bye.